Hello and welcome to this urgent cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going over the really big resistance Bitcoin is up against right now as we speak on the charts. We're going to be going through the importance of this resistance and if we reject how we could be looking down towards much lower levels. I also want to be taking a look at Ethereum and how Ethereum is bouncing from our weekly. So ladies and gentlemen, I really do hope that you enjoy this video and also learn from it because I'm going to give you some key education so you can start to make these really, really good trades. I Honestly, it feels really great when you're in, in tune with the charts, you're in your zone. It feels great to be able to make these sort of trades. So I want to educate you of how to get up to that level. I want to talk you through what's happening right now on the Bitcoin chart, the resistance that we are currently getting rejections from and how we could be looking to trade this over the next few days to week. So without further said or do, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the charts and let's do what we love. That's technical analysis. So to start off with here, um, I mean, where should we begin? Where should we begin? I think what I want to do before we go over what's happening right now in the chart, we'll get to that towards, give me five minutes. I want to educate you and remind you of how we got up to this point. Okay, so how did we get up to this point? Why will we coming down to these lows? Why will we getting bounces here? Let's give you a bit of key education before we get into this right now. So it all really started off with, if we add on our technical analysis, it already started with these really simply three key daily levels. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, these are the levels that I give every week inside of the Champions live streams. Okay, and on Sunday, the 21st of February, you can see these three dailies that I had marked out in advance. Daily one, daily two, daily three, they're at 44,888. My exact words during this live stream were this was, in my opinion, a short squeeze. Okay, this was a short squeeze to the upside and we had moved up very fast. And there's one thing that you need to remember. Okay, when price goes up very quickly, it does not build any support and it can go down just as fast. So I ended this live stream with a setup, which was looking, you know, waiting for a 20% retracement in price. Because I recognize that when price is squeezing up like it was on, on Sunday, you know, price has that potential to drop just as fast and you need to be prepared and ready for those drops. So when you are getting these really big drops in price, instead of being scared, Instead of being unprepared, you are ready to buy that fear. Okay, and that's what we were doing yesterday. As you know from literally the video I gave you, it was time to buy the bit, bit Bitcoin. I was giving you my exact trade. And how well did that work out? We obviously bounced in the end off of that lower, lower daily. And we're going to go over this in a bit more detail as we progress through the video. But just to really quickly remind you how we got up to this point again, we obviously bounced off of our middle daily, which was our biggest of the four ladder entries there at $48,000 really great. We managed to take that up. We managed to get that retracement and back test $52,000, which if you're watching my live stream for the public, was our level to compound. We managed to get that compound and then we managed to take that profit out at our resistance trend line. So from there, we had managed to predict the drop, the rise, the secondary drop to back test the daily, and then the third increase in price to take profits off, our, off of our trend line, which is also the London point of control. From that, we obviously got our retracement in price. In the end, a quick, swift retracement down to our lower daily level. Okay, so this brings us up to the last 24 hours. Over the last 24 hours, you'll know I made this video yesterday to make you aware of how I was trading, which was a long, and how I was really comfortable in this long. Why? Because I knew why I was buying here. I knew where I was wrong on the trade, and I knew where I wanted to take profits on it. So I have a really clear setup. Okay, I have a really clear set of rules. I have a really clear plan for my trade. Okay, well, now we can move this on a step and think, what, what is this? What pattern did we have here at the lows that's currently playing out as we speak? Okay, well, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I was posted on the 22nd. I feel that this drop will be ending in some sort of a rounded bottom. So I think you do not have to rush into a trade. Certainly, you don't want to be rushing into anything if you don't have your plans thought out. You do not want to fear of miss out buy. There should be plenty of chance to look at this retracement, in my opinion. Posted on the 22nd. Next day, we had a really big drop. And what did we do here? We start to form our rounded bottom. Okay. So let me just highlight this for you. As you can see, we really are taking it from our first low of the wick. And instead of getting the initial really quick buyback, what we form is exactly as predicted, a rounded bottom here on the Bitcoin chart. So why is this more bullish than if we just do you know, a quick buyback? Because what happens during this rounded bottom is 
you know, average average Joe is getting ultra fearful, ultra scared, and they are going to be selling into our long orders. And you had an extended time of accumulation at this low. And you you want to you want to see a one up of like. Well, well, well done, Danny. You predicted a rounded bottom. Yeah, you know, I can, I can up one on this one. This was my members live stream from yesterday. So, I mean, the, the value that you're getting inside the group is crazy right now. But this was a members live stream that I made yesterday morning. And my exact words were, I am buying here. I was giving everyone my exact, exact plan. I was buying here. And this is exactly as I was predicting. A rounded bottom that saw a move to the downside, a secondary test, and then we make our way up over that rounded bottom. Okay, that was inside of the urgent members update that I gave yesterday. Well, look how this played out to the prediction that we got our original wick. We test once, we test twice, we make our way back up. Well, this is how it played out in the end. Had our original wick, we tested once, we tested twice, and we made our way back up. <laughs> I mean, that was the prediction, and that's how it traded out. So I think we could say the predictions are going exactly as predicted. Um, but yeah, anyway, we formed our rounded bottom. But not only was it just a rounded bottom, we also got our bullish divergences off of this. So, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you couldn't have got a better setup. You form your rounded bottom with your bullish divergences. I mean, like your head has to explode at how good of an opportunity this really was, okay? Because you could have been buying literally the nearly the exact lows. Your invalidation, again, was below our daily level. And where are you looking for? We're looking back up towards this trend line which you're up against now with, with your obviously daily above you. So if we just remove that rounded bottom prediction a second <laughs> from the prediction to how it played out, too good. Um, you know, what do, what are we looking at now then? So we've, we've able to acknowledge, I've talked you through each step of the way, okay? I've talked you through how this was traded, okay? And you have to remember, we were putting hundreds and thousands of dollars on each trade. And so what we're able to see is the original bounce off the daily, the secondary bounce, off of our daily, the move up into the London point of control with our trend line, the move down into our lower daily level, which had a rounded bottom support with your bullish divergences. I hope that you've understood everything thus far and you're able to really learn from this. I mean, you're not just, you're just not going to see this anywhere else. Nobody else is making those sort of predictions with such accuracy. In advance, <laughs> in advance, those daily levels were called. And so we've obviously formed our rounded bottom. We've come up. So what are we up against now? What is this key resistance that I told you? If we reject here, we could see potentially much lower prices on the Bitcoin chart. Well, we really simply still have that daily. So what do we have here? We have this form of support, support. And look at this support, resistance. It's still resistance. So we have this little box of support, support, resistance right now that is your daily level the exact same one that was prior marked on the chart 51,613 51,613 look at this this is your daily level of resistance right now so this is such a key 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 level okay from 51,000 to you know we can we can call it up to 53,000 so you have this a $1.5,000 resistance region. And you are up against that literally right now as we speak. Right now as we speak, this is the resistance, okay? So like yesterday, I was literally telling you, this is the time to buy Bitcoin. Well, this is the time right now to take profits on Bitcoin because this is this is literally your resistance level. This was the time to buy while everyone was really fearful. And this is the time to take profits because we're literally now back up at resistance, you know? You have to remember, this was a bounce of 14.5%, nearly 15% bounce in a day. Ladies and gentlemen, That the money is absolutely insane that you can be making off of these moves. 15% is, I mean, I just can't stress how much money is literally made off of that. So this is a really big take profit. It really is. OK, because we're up against that daily level again. And then the way that we can approach this is if we pull with, you know, if we get a retracement, you know, we can look to trade the retracements or if we reclaim resistance as support, we can look to, you know, trade a reclaim. So you have such a key important levels that literally those three dailies are the only levels that you need right now on the Bitcoin chart. They really are key resistance, key supports. Like that's literally all you need right now. OK, and you also need to then be aware of, OK, if we do reject here, you know, how can you be, you know, you know, you've then you've literally got your sports. And if you break resistance, well, if you break resistance, you're going to be looking up to the exact same levels I've given you over the last few days. You know, you've got that 50, 50, 2,500. You then obviously, well, as I said in this video, 53,000. So it's just markets 53. Obviously, if you break this, you're looking back up towards your $56,000.
Okay, so the areas of resistance are really clear. The areas of support are really clear. And I mean, all you have to do right now, I hope you're in the same position as I am. I know many champions are. It's just kind of, it's just kind of relax and chill. You don't need to be over managing this. You don't need to be stressing about this. Just let the chart do what the chart wants to do now. You know, you, you should be in this advantageous position by being prepared for the drop while everybody was really, really bullish and buying up at those highs. We were saying that this is an awful time to buy for a swing trade. You can never buy up here. So while everyone else was really greedy buying the highs, we were, you know, staying patient, waiting for our drops. We got our drops. We filled our longs in profits. And now it's just kind of like a, a relaxing time where you can kind of relax uh, on Bitcoin. There's not too much to overmanage here. And I will talk you through Ethereum. I'll talk you through Ethereum as well. Because, I mean, yeah, the level that we bounced off of Ethereum is obviously brilliant as well. But, yeah, we've obviously had those bullish divergences. And I'd just like to, make, I'd just like to point you to this post, which I feel is pretty funny. <laughs> this was on the 22nd as well. Everybody, just remember, we wanted this drop. We absolutely wanted this drop to buy. So, while the majority of the world are ultra fearful and scared, our eyes are lighting up. Make a plan. Trade the plan. Okay, so while everybody's ultra fearful at those lows, set, you know, scared, selling, this was your time to buy. Okay, it really was. And then I, <laughs> I will show you this one as well. Guys, the drop is amazing. The sheep will sell into our longs and then FOMO buy into our sales. So the sheep will sell into our longs and then FOMO buy ourselves. Each time it happens. People, you know, people were fear, really fearful on that original wick. Then they're FOMO buying into the trend line. And then once again, the exact same happened the next day. Yesterday, everybody was ultra fearful and scared. They're selling into where I am at, personally anyway, buying down here heavily. And now people can be FOMO buying into their longs as we're taking profits. So you see how it's like counter countering what the average trader is doing. They're selling down here and they're probably buying back here because most people will have been stopped down here. Most people are either getting their stop loss hit, liquidated, scared, selling. And now they see a 15% increase in price. And guess what they're doing right now? They are buying where we're selling. You, you, you literally see how literally crazy that is when you think about it. Uh, so there, that, that's Bitcoin. Ethereum, 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 Ethereum. I mean, wow. This one is this one is even is, is kind of even better. So this was obviously the weekly that we were going through in yesterday's video as well. One thousand three hundred sixty-five. Okay, you can see how we hit that to the exact dollar. You see how these levels are being respected to the exact dollar. Bitcoin <laughs> daily respected to the exact dollar. Ethereum <laughs> level respected to the exact dollar. How strong are these levels? But nevertheless. That is the exact level that you're bouncing off on Ethereum. And this is a 22% increase in price, by the way. It might be a little bit more than that now, actually. I haven't checked it this morning. So this is, yeah, 23, had a 25% increase in price. 25% increase in price. <sighs> yeah, crazy. So again, that is really clearly your really massive important support right now on Ethereum. 1,365. Where are we finding resistance? Well, we've broken through we have broken through our original cc so that's pretty good and i imagine that you're going to have this same trend line on eth okay so slightly different you can see this gives you a little bit more room to the upside that would be coming in around one thousand eight hundred dollars so ethereum has its resistance more so at one thousand eight hundred whereas bitcoin you're kind of up against it right now okay being in that daily level um so ethereum has a little bit more space to run here one would say but that was also because it was very oversold i mean that that weekly it's kind of like, yeah, there's just like kind of, you have to say, sometimes you just get given gifts in the market. I mean, that yeah, that weekly was, yeah, <laughs> strong support. Let's just put it like that. So we've bounced off of that strong support and now we're making our way back up at resistance. And what you have to remember is the risk to reward on this trade, the more that we go up is getting worse and worse and worse. So naturally, this is getting a worse and worse, worse time to buy. But nevertheless, uh, you got your bigger resistance coming in, I would say about $1,800. Um, you know, you now have your intermediate support that you could get stood cut. You know, if you get a retracement here, you have that intermediate support about $1,550. So you got that $1,550 intermediate support, bigger support obviously being your weekly. You got that, you know, then your next bigger resistance, I'd say $1,800. So you got like, and I wouldn't trade Ethereum where it is now. I wouldn't long here and I wouldn't short here. I'd either have to wait for a higher or, or wait for or, or wait for a retracement. Couldn't really trade ETH where it is here, whereas I could trade Bitcoin. Um, 
And sometimes you just have, you know, you just have to have that patience to wait. You know, this is what I say. You've got to have the patience to wait for those really, really, really good trades. You know, if you had stayed out of Ethereum like I was here and saying, you know, this is going to be a, an absolute gift if we come down to that weekly and then you're giving it the next day. You know, if you wait for those sort of gifts that at the time while you're up here are kind of seem unlikely and then you get 50% retracements into the weekly levels, it's like, you know, if you're patient waiting for those levels and you take that opportunity, well, ladies and gentlemen, you can make a lot of money. Let's just put it like that. And now you have to have the patience to wait for the retracement or wait for the increase. I wouldn't get involved on ETH where it is right now. Okay, I just wouldn't. Um, <laughs> it's a good time to, you know, yeah, that's what I'd say on Ethereum. I don't even wait for the retrace or wait, wait, wait for an increase in price. On Bitcoin, um, yeah, I feel the, feel the levels, you're literally up against your levels right now as we speak. So it's a lot easier to trade. So you're literally up against your big, 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 big daily region. Okay, literally such a big level right now. Um you know, you've got the clearly defined levels of support. You've got your clearly defined levels of resistance. And I mean, I really do hope you're in an advantageous position like this. You can see champions members. Look at Doltex, long in Ethereum 1,352. I mean, he's basically long the exact low on, uh, basically the exact low there on on, Bit on, on Ethereum. The guy's an absolute legend. <laughs> but you can see everybody right now just chilling in longs. This is this was my entry, 47,000. Um, you know, we can just chill in longs. It's really, 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 really good. Okay, there's not really much that you have to do. Look at this guy winning every single trade he's taking. I mean, it's just that, you know, it's just that position that you want to be in. And I suppose like this is a this is a really cool comment. So like I was saying, like yesterday, 95% of the world were fearful on Bitcoin, expecting lower. We were we were literally chilling and having fun. Like this guy says, it gave, I gave him so much confidence in holding his longs. Got to admit, he, it was hard to resist the emotions of selling. Um, but, you know, I suppose this is the good thing about being in a community of professional traders that, Although I'm never going to tell you exactly, exactly what to do. You know, you can see how I'm trading. You can see how my emotions are in the time. And, you know, I love it. I'm like a mentor, uh, a leader sort of figure of, you know, I am able to, my posts are powerful where I can be like giving clarity to people, calming people down. So while most people down here are again, and I need to stress this because it's so important. It's so important. Most people down here were going crazy for sales. What were people saying yesterday? They were calling out that it's going down to like thirty, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. Everybody really, really scared and fearful. And literally I'm saying it's time to buy Bitcoin because guess what? Price doesn't just go straight vertically. So even though price could, you know, price could still do this where it's had its retracement, it's then had its 15% increase in price and it can continue down lower now. Yes, absolutely it could. But the thing is, even if it continues down lower now, we're 100% guaranteed profits because we've managed to long basically the exact low on the Bitcoin chart, literally able to fill longs at the exact low. I was accumulating in this zone and then we're able to sell back up into our resistance, which is a 15% increase in price. Now people are going to be FOMO buying into our sell orders, which is just really funny when you think about it. They were scared down here. Now they're, they're, they're greedy up here thinking they've missed a move. 15% increase in price. When you have a plan, you know what you're doing. And I really do feel that this is absolutely brilliant. Okay. So yeah, this was the video of today. I've done it in a bit of a style where I wanted to talk you through how we've got to this point. I just really need to put so much emphasis on how we got and predicted these levels. It all started by having that original plan in the Champions live stream. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see these plans, how we were waiting for those 20% decreases in price, how I was giving those setups, chartchampions.com, I'm more than happy to shill this because I truly feel I've been able to help so many people with their emotions with managing their trades, with areas to look for buys, exactly predicting how the move is going to go in advance. I mean, what can I say? We are literally doing things exactly. <laughs> it's, it's playing out exactly as predicted. Um, yeah, so that's my final thoughts here. We had our rounded bottom. We've made our way up 15% into resistance. Most people are going to be FOMO buying right now. I'm happy to take profits. That doesn't mean we can't go higher. Of course, we could go higher. But this is such a big resistance level. I can add on and compound if we break this, can't I? You see how easy this is to manage? Like, such an advantageous position to be in. It really is. Um, and how do you get into that advantageous position? It is by having a plan. It's by trading the plan. It's by not getting scared and emotional. It's by being, re you know, relaxed 
and trading the charts, trading your analysis. The same on Ethereum, where you're getting crazy 25% bounces. Same on Bitcoin, where you're getting 15% bounces. You can only be making profits on this if you have your original plan and you know those exact levels that you're going to be bouncing on. So you're literally able to say exactly what's going to happen on Bitcoin. Well, I guess this is kind of experience speaking. It's just because I've seen this thousands of times. I've been trading so long. I have pattern recognition off the back of my head. And it's just like, I've seen these scenarios play out so many times. So how do you get to this level? It's obviously by experience. Let me end with this. Have you ever seen me using uh, Market Cipher? Have you ever, do you ever see me recently using RSI, MACD, or like a bunch of indicators? Have you seen any of my work that I'm doing using these indicators that 99% of the world use? Or do you see me reading price action and able to predict to the almost the dollar these moves time and time and time and time again? You're able to see me do this. You know, it's not hindsight. And have you ever seen me using these indicators that 99% of people are obsessed with? You know, how many people are obsessed with certain indicators right now? Okay, people are obsessed with it. Do you do you ever see me talking about F2 pool? Do you ever see me talking about um, what's this thing called? Like market glass or something where you can see certain things. I don't even know because I know it's a waste of time. Like, do you ever see me looking at these things? Um, or do you literally see me predicting moves in advance of exactly how it's going to go, of levels that we're going to be dropping to? Yeah, that, that's what you see me doing. <laughs> to be honest, that's exactly what you see me do. And how do I do this? It's via experience. Okay, I have many, many, many years of experience now doing this. It's from doing this every single day. And it's doing, I love this. You know, I'm doing what I absolutely love. I love trading. I love charting and everything together is just, I love this so much. This is my passion. This is my love. And yes, I, I just love it. And I'm able to do this, not from indicators. These indicators are not going to help you. I would challenge anybody to say they're able to look at these levels while using some sort of random indicator. I just don't feel it's going to happen. Um, you know, just bear that in mind. You know, you've seen me do this consistently. Do you ever see me using these indicators? This is a rhetorical question. I hope you can answer. <laughs> anyway, summary of this video. Really big. I'm going to end with a summary. This video's gone on too long. Summary of the video, and I apologise. I'm sure it's going to get some dislikes because people are going to be like, Daniel, stop bragging. Daniel, lose the ego. Stop bragging. Um... Summary of the video, Bitcoin, we're at resistance right now. This for me is a big take profit because if we reject it, we could come down to much lower levels. If we reclaim our resistance, hunky-dory, everything's good, compound back on. You know, how simple is that to trade right now? Um, a summary on Ethereum. Ethereum looks really good. I'm very happy with this bounce. Um, it's back up into a position now, though, where I would really simply trail a stop loss because you've either got the potential of still another, you know, $150 to the upside or alternatively a retracement of about $100, I would say, um, back into $1,550, $1,500. So Ethereum right now, I feel you have to have that little bit of patience. And I feel on Bitcoin, I mean, this, this is a, definitely a take profit in my opinion, um, <laughs> for sure because we could get the rejection here. So that's my summary on Bitcoin. That's my summary on Ethereum. If you want to see these updates live in the time, then this is for the champions group. If you want to learn about how I mark out these weekly, daily levels, I give all that education across at chartchampions.com where we do have our cheat sheets, our glossaries, our learning modules, our contenders and champions videos, our bonus videos. We have so much educational material you can you can dive into this for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. You know, there's so much stuff to learn. So if you want to learn how we're doing all this, we got all that over on the website. If you want that community of <laughs> literally just make, having fun and making money at the same time, that's what we offer in the Champions Group. And um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video. I really do hope that you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed making it. <laughs> so that, that, that's a good thing. I've really enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoy watching it. Must end, obviously, saying no financial advice in all of this video. Please understand, no financial advice. Pause and read through this. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I'm not a financial advisor. And um, hope you've enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you ever so much. And well, what can I say? Have an absolutely brilliant day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>